Let's move on from a team with some question marks to a team with not a lot of question marks. Purdue, I keep running around saying they might be the best team in the country. You should buy stock, yada, 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 cart. Uh, they looked really, really good yet again yesterday. They played kicks, IBAM. I don't know exactly who that team is or what, but you could watch this whole game. You can go watch the Matthew Loves Ball if you want to see the summary of it. Um, the story here for me, Braden Smith, was impeccable. 22 points, 12 assists to four turnovers. He had six rebounds. He had three steals. He was two for three from three. If you watched it, he was coming off little curl screens, hitting pull-up jumpers. This kid was really good last year, even though we criticized him for not being able to handle pressure late in the season. He was really good. He was a large part of why Purdue was so good last year, and everyone seems to not care. Everyone seems to write him off and act like there isn't a jump coming for him. Card, I wouldn't be surprised if Braden Smith was all Big Ten this year. Like, I, I think he's really good to put up these numbers in any setting. I mean, 22, 12, and 6. The kid's a sophomore on a team yeah. with the National Player of the Year. Like, I'm I'm wildly impressed. Did you see what I saw with Braden Smith? I was wildly impressed as well. And you know how I feel about Braden Smith, and we've been talking about it all summer. The one reluctancy I guess I have with this is that does this does Braden Smith look like this was Zach Eady in the fold? Because to me – Everything he was doing was so aggressive in yesterday's game. Like he was the engine. He was the one, he was the guy they were looking to to generate offense, to make plays, to score baskets, to get rebounds. He doesn't have to be that guy with Zach Edie. So is he gonna be that aggressive when Edie's back? I don't know. Is TKR gonna be able to show what he's been able to show with Zach Edie back? Like it's yes, it's good to have a national player of the year, but guys aren't going to play the same when Zach Eady is in the fold. I don't know necessarily even if they should because of how good Zach Eady is, but I guess I take this performance with a grain of salt only because I don't know if we're going to see this aggressive level of Braden Smith. I don't know if we're going to see the same TKR uh, with this team. And I'd be remiss also if I didn't shout out your brother for a very good performance. Shout out the, the year of Waddell at Purdue, by the way. Yeah, first of all, uh, whoever the announcers were for this game, you're going to have to see me because it's pronounced Waddell. It's not pronounced Waddle. I had to live with that for quite a few years in my life, okay? It's Waddell. Get the name right. Second of all, man, Brian Waddell has had an impressive summer. Um, to go from a total, I mean, not to be rude, but to go from like a walk-on total non-factor to holy shit, he looks like the best wing on this team at a position of need is wild. Some would say that it's the second most impressive summer any Waddell's had. I mean, I'm eating fruit and running miles and I'm down 27 pounds since the birth of my daughter. But Brian Waddell, it's important to note that Brian Waddell looks like a transformed man. Um, I, I just love how many options this team has. And maybe that changes when Edie's back because you don't need options when you have the best player in the country. But doesn't it feel like all of their options are at the things that went wrong last year? Like Brian Waddell has emerged. Miles Colvin looks really athletic. Yeah. Those guys both play the position they needed to get better at. And Kaufman Wren is a dude now. And I, I think that's an answer at the four. So I don't know, man. Like I, the shooting was the question, right? Shooting? Everyone was scared about the shooting? Like we just talked about how Illinois, ooh, we're skeptical they're shooting. They can't make a shot in the summer. Purdue's 10 for 22 from three in a game without Zach Eady. <laughs> uh, also, whispers Ethan Morton hasn't played. So, I mean, yeah. Are we going to do that? Are we going to do that? I'm just saying, guys are able to take some opportunities when other guys don't play. And there might be a reason why they look better than certain players. I'm just saying. It's no disrespect, but I do think this season could end up being defined by how many total minutes Mason Gillis and Ethan Morton are playing. If those guys are still playing what they played last year, I think we do know what Purdue is for the most part. If those guys have their minutes diminished a little bit because a guy like Brian Waddell or because a guy like Miles Colvin or because a guy like TKR is too good, you can't take them off the floor. Then we see steps forward. Um, Again, I just said 10 for 22 from three car, 45%. 10 for 10 from free throw. Like, so if people think we're panicking about Illinois, fine. It's not that hard to make shots in a summer game. Like, if you can shoot, you, the shots do go in. And like I said, uh, no ED. Like, 
the thought would be all these shots look a lot easier when Edie's back on the floor because you have to send two bodies at Edie and they're going to get wide open looks like they did in the tournament when they missed them. So the stock's through the roof, man. Like, I don't know how many times we can just keep saying it. We're just going to keep coming on here. I'm sick, I'm sick of saying it. Uh, can, I, can I say two last things? Of course. Quick. Uh, one, just know that we were the first to have Brian. Brian, Brian Waddell was the first guest on Sleepers uh, College Hoops to Go. We saw him and Caleb first on the streets getting coffee. Let that be known. Uh, and the second thing, quick question. All I want is a quick answer. We can actually maybe have a segment on this tomorrow. Would you rather have moving forward Doug McDaniel or Braden Smith? Oh, you're really going to make me do that, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Do I have for to the be, record, for the record? Somebody asked me this yesterday, and I took Braden. Do I have to be honest? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. It's Braden. It's Braden Smith. He's a better player. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I hate. I hate myself. Doug is my favorite player ever. I love him. I will. I will die for him. I literally will. I'll stick my hand in a blender for 60 seconds for Doug McDaniel. Like I, he's not better than Braden Smith though. <laughs> is what it is. Oh, I hate you for that. That hurts so bad. Uh, okay. Moving on. 